You seem to be pretty relaxed today, little kitty. Don't you have an online class to attend? Oh, yes. How could I forget that? It's that time of the year again as the holiday season is back. Wait a minute. On this joyous occasion, why don't we learn a thing or two about holidays themselves? Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us look into the history of holidays and answer a celebrating question. Who invented holidays? Zoom in! Holidays They are the days set aside by custom or by law on which normal activities, especially business or work, including school, are suspended or reduced. It's an occasion to celebrate, reflect or engage with your families and communities in most cases for religious or holy activities from which we get our word holiday. But you'll be surprised to know in the Middle Ages there were no holidays in the modern sense as people continued to go to work, war or on pilgrimages. Which makes us wonder where did the first modern-day version of the holiday come from? Well, to know that, we need to travel back in time to visit ancient Rome. Yes, the credit to pioneer the idea of holidays goes to ancient Romans. When they were not busy conquering the world, they would spend their time celebrating the religious fests by honoring their deities organizing games, resting, and traveling for pleasure. But with the fall of Rome and the ascent of the Dark Ages, the holiday as we know it took a break of its own. With the rise of Viking raiders, the constant threat of battles combined with unsafe travel routes made it difficult for most Europeans to venture beyond their regions. The most distant they ever travelled was to their neighbouring village to celebrate the occasional wedding or holy day. Then as time progressed, only the rich could afford to travel safely with groups of soldiers protecting them. Then in the 18th century, the artists and aristocrats revived the Roman tradition of taking a grand tour of Europe. However, until the late 19th century, going away on holiday was only for the wealthy. But luckily for everyone else, with the invention of steam trains during the Industrial Revolution, common Victorians were able to travel to new locations. And with the introduction of the bank holiday in 1871, people jumped aboard these trains to spend the three-day break by the sea and so the long weekend. Shorter holiday as we know it today was born. However, even at the end of the 19th century, most people had no paid holidays except bank holidays. It was in 1939, a new law in Britain said that everyone must have one week's annual paid holiday and by the 1950s, two weeks were common and by the 1980s, most people had at least four weeks annual holiday. And since then, holidays have managed to take their current form so that we can come together and celebrate our history, tradition and achievements. Trivia time! Did you know, January 1st is a day off all over the world? Also, Iran has the most public holidays of any country in the world, with 27 days in 2021. Hope you learned something fun today. Until next time, I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Enjoy your vacation, my dear friends. Oh, sorry, Kitty. 
we can't go for a vacation this time due to Omicron.